Hey you guys, this is Coffee, and today we are playing the 100 Baby Challenge. We are currently working with uh, Paisley, and she is home holding baby Cass. Um, I'm sure you guys are gonna correct me on like 800 levels how to say his name, because I know it's a supernatural character's name, and I don't watch that show, so I have no idea. I wish I did, because I feel like a lot of people tell me that it's really good. Um, but I'm just gonna call him Cass, because I know that I will butcher this name, and I just, yeah. So he's Cass, which I think is cute because like creative sim, you know? So Cass, Paisley is home holding Cass. I don't know why, I don't know why they're not home. Hopefully they'll be home soon. Jose and Juliet, the baby's here, but they're not back from the hospital. That's kind of weird. So Paisley is holding her little brother. Um, we have Charlotte who is here with her brother. Wait, what? Says she's on her second trimester. She looks thin as a rail. She does not look pregnant at all. Let me get, let me look at you. Come here. Okay. Well, when you're done peeing, we're gonna, let me look at you. What? No. Can I change you into your everyday? Like, I really want to see this. I feel like you don't look pregnant at all. Oh, there we go. For some reason, your nighttime wear just wasn't showing it. You look super preggers. Cool story, bro. Okay, so Charlotte is obviously still dealing with the death of her sister. I was actually really surprised by, I mean, it's not like I think you guys aren't human and you don't feel emotions, but I was really surprised by the amount of responses on the death of Hazel. So many people were upset over that. I was just really, really, really surprised about how many people were upset. Um, and as far as that goes, all I'm gonna say is what I said in that episode, which is I'm not gonna bring her back because I feel like that is story development and I'm really happy. Well, I'm not happy that she's dead. That's really messed up. I'm not happy about it, but I feel like there's something interesting in every LP and I kind of like to let the characters tell their own story. And that's why I refused to save her and I wanted them to do it on their own because that meant something to me and to them. So um, anyways, that, yeah, she is just going to be here in spirit with us, but I am going to see if we can purchase like a stand for her and kind of put like a, make a little like shrine for her, if you will. So let's see, where would I find something like that? Would I just type like stand? Oops. Stand, okay. Oh, those are all TV stands, okay. Uh, maybe it's like display. Nope, these are display hutches. It's not quite what I'm looking for either. You guys know what I'm talking about though, right? They're like cubes. They look like cubes and you can put stuff on them. I found them in my Black Widow challenge, I believe. But I'm not quite sure where I found them. I just don't remember. So let's go ahead and take a look in like this miscellaneous cluttery crap and see what we can find. Is that a lemon? Oh, it's a melon, sorry. I was so excited. Um, do, 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 a dippity dippity dop. Um, <laughs> thumbs up if you ever went to camp and played dippity dippity dop and were like a super nerd like me. Surprisingly, more people know about that game than I have thought ever would. Dude, where, if I were a freaking display stand, where would I live? Oh, hey, I have an Xbox One, like, custom content stuff. I didn't even know it. Um, okay, so it's not in miscellaneous clutter. It could be in statues. Oh, is this one? Seek out. Can I put... Oh, no. No, no, no. That's really big. Okay. <laughs> My freaking bad. Um, I could see it being in statues, because to me that makes sense, but I guess not. Um, where would one put something like that? I have no idea where to look for this. And I'm sorry that I'm taking up so much time searching. This is ridiculous. Um, maybe it's in like odds and ends or something. Uh, I probably shouldn't click my mouth. People really hate that. <laughs> um, I really don't know where something like that would be. Like maybe I just need to go to like 
surfaces. Because this would be like miscellaneous surfaces, and that makes sense. It's, oh, duh. Of course that's where it is. Chloe, why are you so dumb? I'm so dumb sometimes. Okay. So we're going to put one of these up. Come here, you. And I guess you're going to go right there. And then I want to get, like, some miscellaneous decor. See if we can get, like, some... Actually, I think it's in lighting. From Spa Day, there's, like, some candle stuff. I think we had other candles, too, though. Or I did. And I think it was in decorations. Because um, there's, like, the Christmas candles. But that's not what I'm looking for. I want... Dude, I just saw them. Let's go... Candle, Bath and Body Works, candles in clutter. Okay, here's some. So let's, you can put some candles there. Um, and Hazel was more of our like goth centric child. So let's, she was kind of more of like a pastel goth though. You know, these kind of look, nope, okay. I don't even know if I can put anything right there. Can I do that? Is that, oh, I can. Okay, I just had to find something that will fit. I wanted to put something that kind of represented her there. Just like, I don't know, something that represents our dear beloved Hazel. Um, Cause coffee is black like her soul. We could do that, I could do that. She gets a coffee that represents her. I love that. Actually, that is genius. Everybody should want to be represented with coffee. And we'll put some black candles by her because that seems super fitting to me. Okay, so we'll do two on either side. I'm gonna grab these. And if you guys are wondering about these candles, um, I got them in the spa day pack. So there we have kind of this little Hazel shrine. I don't think we have any pictures of Hazel, which is a huge bummer. That's like negligence on my part, I guess. Um, I just don't think we have any, but we do have this little Hazel shrine where people can go and mourn if they want to. And it's right in the heart of the home, which to me is the kitchen. Uh, we have our dear, dearest Porter, who is 18 still. We need to actually, he is like ready to get an upgrade, but he needs to get one skill to level three, which he hasn't done yet. His handiness skill seems to be the highest, but I think we're going to give him charisma skills because that just seems fitting for him. And I remember making him practice speech when he was really little, so... Um, <laughs> let's go look and see. Wait, did it say his homework wasn't started? Dang it. Okay, so we also need to have him do his homework. You are an adult. We just need to worry about keeping your pregnancy needs up. Why are you guys not home yet? Like, I'm going to go control her really quick so I can make her go home. Because this is getting ridiculous, but that's okay. Because loading screens are my favorite because I get to drink coffee. Mmm. Oh, man, that's delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It was great. Okay. Um, we also have uh, Charlotte. I forget that she has like a baby daddy and a man. Like obviously she's preggers. So obviously she has a baby daddy, but <laughs> I forget that she has like a man that we can totally communicate with and stuff. <clears throat> I really just want you guys to go home. Please, for the love, go home. I don't like, I really don't know why they were still here and refuse to go home. And I couldn't make them go home from the menu, which was weird. Okay, sorry, we're gonna do another load, yet another loading screen. <laughs> um, switch to control, okay. Mm. Them loading screens, though. <laughs> mm. Very nice. <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about the loading screens. I think that's something that I actually was really displeased with, with The Sims 4, that they did this, made loading screens. I wish I had like a little coffee symbol that like rotated. That would be so cool. I wish I could change that. I bet you can. <laughs> Custom content people do everything these days. Okay. So now, oh, your hair is going through your boobies because you're, you've gotten all big. Um, now I'm going to go over to see Juliet. We're going to go ahead and change her into her every day because girl, you need to get that gown off. Oh girl, you need to work out. You got a dunk a dunk now. Um, I'm going to, oh, she can't work out unless we replace this. Well, we're just going to do it. Let's go have you practice punching and 
Uh, let me see how you seem to be. F oh, wow. She has like really great needs. That's weird. Um, Jose went to bed. Paisley. Paisley, where are you, honey? Um, Paisley did her homework and she looks like she's already doing stuff. No, she's not working on that. Let's play game. Play, play, play Sims Forever. You seem really upset and I think it would really help you right now. Oh, she's sad. Lack of time spent with other Sims. Can you just, you were just spending time with your baby brother though. Doesn't that count for something? <laughs> I love that she's playing the Sims. It's awesome. And it looks a lot like, I can't, it looks a lot like the Sims like original or the Sims 2. I think it's the original Sims. Maybe the Sims 2, I can't tell. I, I never played Sims 1, so I don't know like what what that looks like but it's so cute <laughs> oh i can't believe that no one else is sad over the death of a hazel like no one seems to have like hard feelings about it and i'm kind of really surprised yeah that booty dough juliet dang girl dang dang is all i can say about that dang girl um, oh, she's going to go mourn Hazel. I'll let her because she is the first person to be actively sad. Oh, 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 oh break my little heart. Yeah, I'm going to let her mourn. That's her daughter. Like, you know, that's, that's pretty freaking sad. We're not going to try to get Juliet pregnant right away because, um because I I kind of want to see if we can try for like triplets and right now there are too many people in our house to try for triplets Paisley what's wrong okay so you need to stop doing this and you need to go to the bathroom I'm gonna send her upstairs to go to the bathroom because that's where her bathroom is um, send her to the bathroom and what else is wrong looks like she wants to interact with some other sims but uh, maybe maybe i'll have her go talk to her mom if her mom doesn't go to bed so go down here um ask about woohoo that'll be funny let's see how that goes looks like juliet is having a little after workout snack i can't believe how like how realistic pregnancy is in this game. Like she had a baby and now it's like, you can tell that she had a baby. <laughs> I like that though. I think that's really realistic and really awesome. Demand independence. Oh, let's take a picture together. I don't, I don't like how you can do that twice though. Like, um, meaning you can do it like, <clears throat> you can do it in here. Take a photo with and see if she can do it with Juliet. Like, I don't like how you can do it in here and then you can also do it in the phone too, which I don't know if that saves. Does that say it doesn't? So it's like, what, why? Take a photo together. There we, oh, no. And I feel like my, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like my take photo with people isn't working. Like I've been having issues with it. So Julia, I think is just going to work on getting in shape for her next pregnancy because I think it's going to be a doozy. Like I'm going to look up how you can do that online. Like if there are things she could do to take better care of her pregnancy, to get triplets. Um, I'm just going to do things like that. What are you doing? Oh, you're working out too. Oh, can she just floor work out? She can. Girl, get on them sit-ups. You rock. You rock on, girlfriend. Um, no, 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 no. Let's see. Okay, so we also, Porter and Paisley, I don't think are doing the best with school stuff right now. Um, Porter definitely did not get a skill to level three. Paisley definitely did not get a skill to, no, to two, but she did her homework. He did not do his homework. He was tired though, so... It's all, it's all good in the hood. Um, we'll have him go to the restroom and we'll have him come back and go to sleep again because I hate it when my Sims are on that dumb schedule where they don't sleep the hours that they should. 
Um, same with you, Paisley, actually. Why are you even still up? Go to bed. <laughs> go to sleep. Go to sleep. Paisley is going to be grumpy for school. Okay, so we're putting Porter back to bed until he is ready to be fully rested and awake. We'll go downstairs. Oh, no. Cass, Cass, baby Cass. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Worst mother award ever. Um, we'll go ahead and cuddle him. Talk to him. Okay, I'm really sorry. Actually, you know what? Let me... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I would very much like to move him down into their bedroom because I feel like I spend more time downstairs in this house than upstairs. So I'm gonna have her feed him downstairs and not go and bother Juliet. The baby shouldn't be in Juliet's room anyways, especially cause he's a boy, he's in the wrong room. Um, we're going to cuddle and, whoa, sorry. We're going to bounce, coo at, and I think that's it. So we'll have her do those things with a baby cast. Okay, he seems to be much happier. Oh, I felt so bad. I can't believe I almost let him get taken away. Um, that would be really depressing. I feel like that would be like a that child doesn't count kind of thing. Um, speaking of children, I want to take a look at this really quick. So it looks like we've had one, two, wait, what? Oh, that's right. Augustus and Pastel. Oh, they had their baby. You guys. Oh, I'm going to invite them over. Um, sorry. That makes me really happy. I have a grandchild. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we've had seven kids so far. We've had four boys and three girls. Yeah, sorry, I was looking at the thing. So seven kids, woot, woot. I need to start working on a list for you guys of like who the baby daddies are and all that jazz and like put it up on my website. My website is still under construction right now though, but it's Coffee YT and I will let you guys know as soon as it's up and running. So um, also Minecraft server, that's gonna be a thing. So seven kids so far. What is the, what, how old is Juliet? She is going to age up in eight days to an adult. So we still have time for her to have more kids. Um, I don't know how many seasons this is going to take to get to a hundred babies, but I fully intend to do my best to get to a hundred. So I don't know what that's going to take. Pastel, are you upset? No, you're self-assured and feeling confident. You're fired up. Nice. Uh, or pa did I say pastel? I meant to say paisley. Have I been calling you pastel this whole episode? Because I feel like that's something I would do. Okay. So baby Cass doing better now. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay. You're hungry. Let's go have you open. We'll have you eat spinach frittata because I don't want you cooking. Your cooking skill probably sucks. And that's all I need is for you to set the house on fire like your sister. I'm really weary of that now. <laughs> okay, so we'll have him eat his breakfast and then I want him to do his homework. I don't know if he's gonna have time to finish it before school cause he, oh, he doesn't have school for like two days. We got all the time in the world, son. Sweet. Um, I think we should have a party. I really do, I really do. I know that we're kind of poor and maybe that's not the best thing for us to do right now, but I really think that we should have a party. I'm just saying. I think that that would be super awesome. Oh, she loves Jose. Mm. You know what? This pot and pan rack is kind of weird because there's just like a single coffee mug up here. I wouldn't do that if that were my house. It just seems weird. Um, anywho, let's see. Juliet, what you doing, boo? Juliet, you should be working on writing. If you're working on getting physically fit and stuff, you need to work on writing because we need the money so get 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 to work woman especially if we're gonna throw a party which oh jose and that was his actual daughter too like his biological daughter lies my writing teacher told me this is okay sounds good sounds good um actually i liked most of my writing teachers um let me see this yeah those were his actual biological children and so is Cass. But dang, Gina, that was sad. 
So who, okay, Garrett, <clears throat> Powell, wait, oh no, same person, sorry. Who, oh, Alfredo, oh my gosh, the whole town is getting so old. Juliet needs to like start finding younger, hipper men. Maybe we can like go check out the goth household. Cause does, don't they have a son? How old is he? He should be getting up there, right? Where is Juliet? Oh, she's writing. That's right. Okay. Pastel is still asleep. We're going to have Pastel really try to work on her school stuff today. I'm going to let her do the vi- Oh, no. Um, we'll have Porter repair this because he is the one that has a pretty good handy skill. And then we will have her come and play Sims Forever when she wakes up, which I guess that time is now. Der or Derek Cass is sleeping. I almost said Derek because in my Black Widow challenge, they have a little boy named Derek. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do something that I have never done. I'm gonna go ahead and release the spirit to the nether because I feel like that will help them to not mourn her as much. Oh wait, no, I don't want you to do it. I want you to do it. So go ahead and release her spirit to the nether. I mean, it's a little sad because we won't have her ghost Will forever free her spirit from the world realm? Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I do. Oh. Oh. Okay, let me see this. Oh, very sad. In loving memory, a cherished sim recently passed on to a better place. While they're gone, they're not forgotten. And just a friend passing. Wow, Julia is so sad. Um, why don't we go have you release your frustration and exercise again? So let's go here and have you stretch. And we'll have you do more sit-ups. We'll have you do push-ups and then we'll have you practice punching. And then maybe we'll have you make a nice like big old salad for lunch and or brunch. Oh, she's so sad. I believe in you, Julia. You can you got this, girl. You have got this. I love how Charlotte is in the background, like splashing and being crazy. Who's that? Hold on, who is at my front door? Is it my son? Is it Augustus? Is it we Augustus? Who is this? It's Jasper. Jasper. Okay, um, go ahead and invite inside. Invite in. Um, maybe we won't have a party. Maybe we'll just invite people over. So invite to hang out on current lot. Let's invite. Okay, we cannot invite Alfredo because that's weird. Um, you know what? No, let's not do that. We'll just take a family trip to their house because we haven't got to see their house. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do you guys one better. I'm going to go ahead and save and I'm actually going to go to their house and control them for a little bit because all of them live together. So let's go do that. See what kind of money they have and see if we can like buy them some stuff. So let's go to manage worlds, I believe. Just go... Okay, so when I got to this location, they literally didn't have anything. They lived in their tiny trailer house and it had no furniture, nothing. So I went ahead and I cheated them a crap load of money and gave them a brand new home. I don't think this is unacceptable because I don't really control these characters and they no longer fulfill any kind of need for the game. So they now have a boatload of money and where's the baby? Where, where is everybody and where's the, ba oh, is the baby over here? No, that's not a baby. What is that? Oh, it's like a log or something. Um, I just wanted to show off this house really quick because it looks super nice. Her kids, Juliet's kids are super rich. The four of them live together. I'm not sure in this storyline who the most successful one is. Probably Augustus, let's be honest here. Um, I think I need to go into build mode and get the baby out. <laughs> I think the baby might be in the family inventory. Yeah, he is. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put little baby grandson right there, right there. And, um, I believe that's the child of Eliza and, a, and, um, that's the child of Eliza and what is his name? Augustus, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, totally. So. So, oh, he's the, he's the Jay's, Jay's son. Okay, so I need to go back here. I think I want Jasper and 
Um, no, Jasper and Eliza, I'm sorry. It's Pastel and Augustus's son. So I really want Eliza and Jasper to also have a child. So I'm gonna go ahead and have them try. Um, maybe, aren't you guys married? Like, why is this weird? Let me, let me, let me take a, let me take a gander at this one. Yeah, you're totally married. Why won't you? Okay. Try for a baby with Eliza. So we're gonna, we're giving them more, we're getting more grandchildren. Um, and then why not? We could have Pastel and Jasper have one more because no, why am I being weird about this? No, 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 no. Oh, you know what? That's okay. Ugh, I just need to stick with the kids and stick with what I know here. <laughs> okay. So there's you. Let's, let's also go ahead and get you guys. Oh, were you guys already on your way to do that? Totally. I'm sorry, I picked the wrong room. Go into this room and do that. <laughs> okay. Um, or, you know, do it right here. That's cool. What? They're woohooing for the first time? Weird. Aw, they're cute. <laughs> I've never listened to what they say when they're woohooing and it sounds like they're just, some of them are like, whoa, whoa, don't touch. Like you're doing it wrong. Some of them just make like the funniest sounds. There's so much love in this house. Oh, did you guys see the fireworks? It's so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and see if either one of them is preggers. Come on, Eliza. Let's go. Let's go see. Oh, they love each other. Dude, it looked like she just told him she was pregnant. How could she possibly know that? Wait, no, we already did that. We already did that. We already did that. Sorry. Oops. Okay, so we're just gonna follow Eliza around for a moment and see if she is expecting. I love how Eliza and Pastel are like so similar. One of them is just like, yay, she's eating for two. Sorry, I was really excited. Um, she's just like a different nationality. Um, and maybe a little bit, um, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have Pastel see if they are having a baby. She is not pregnant, okay. So we'll have them try again. Let's have them go to this room. They're just christening all the houses. Oh, why would you, oh, you're sad because you're not pregnant. <gasps> Dude, you just had a baby. It's cool, it's cool. The time will come for you, my love. It will, I promise. I promise you're gonna be, oh, is that what she's gonna go do? <laughs> oh, that is so sad and so realistic. <laughs> what? Can I call you? No, you're a ghost. That is so freaking sad. Dude, you go upstairs and you comfort your wife. Um, try to cheer up. Yeah, you do that. You do that. And let's try one more time. And that'll probably conclude this episode once we see if they conceived again or not. That was so sad. Like my little heart feels horrible. Oh, and she's a gloomy Sim, so she probably feels even worse. Great, I didn't know Pastel was gloomy. Okay. If they don't conceive, dude, in the next episode, I'm probably gonna play with their household a little bit again. And I'm gonna take Pastel to the day spa because that is just way too sad for me. So we will wait for them. I'm glad that Eliza and Jasper are getting to experience the miracle of having children though. That's gonna be super cool or a child, I should say. So what, don't know, it's okay, honey, it's okay. I don't know if she'll conceive just because she didn't already. It might not work again because I didn't wait for it to go away. <gasps> no, she's sad, she's happy, sad really. Um, yay, so everyone is pregnant. It's okay, it's okay, my love. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and make you happy because I don't wanna see none of this. You be happy. You be happy because you're preggers. You guys are having another baby. 
it's gonna be great. I really would like to go and redo like the insides of this house and I can't wait to come back and visit them again and see how the kids are and oh, it's gonna be great. I love that they named their baby Russell too. That's pretty funny. Um, anyways, you guys, I think this is gonna conclude this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you hope to see next in the series. I always love taking your guys' suggestions. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I am at coffeeyt. This is Coffee signing off. Can't